हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू टेंटर्स एंड जस्ट इमेजिन इफ आर टीथ आर जस्ट प्रेजेंट इन द माउथ लाइक दैट ऐसे ही पड़े हो माउथ में तो क्या होगा व्हेन वी विल च्यू फूड द टीथ विल स्टार्ट डांसिंग बट दैट डज नॉट हैपन बिकॉज टीथ आर फिक्स्ड इन द माउथ हाउ दे आर फिक्स दे आर अटैच्ड टू द सराउंडिंग बोन हाउ दे आर अटैच्ड टू द बोन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द फाइबर्स दीज फाइबर्स आर नोन एज पेरियोडोंटल लिगामेंट पेरियो मींस अराउंड डोंटल मींस टूथ लिगामेंट इज दीस ग्रुप ऑफ फाइबर्स सो ऑन वन साइड इट इज अटैच्ड टू द बोन ऑन द अदर साइड दे आर अटैच्ड टू द टूथ बट वेयर ऑन द टूथ ऑन द root part of the tooth which part of the root the outer most layer of the root that is called cementum and on the outside all these are surrounded by a soft tissue which is known as gingiva or gums so here we can see that these four tissues out of which we have two hard tissues that is cementum and bone and two soft tissues gingiva and periodontal ligament so together all these four tissues support the tooth and keep it fixed in the mouth so they do not dance and they help us eat our food so together these four tissues are known as periodontium very very important term perio means around dontium means tooth that can be important viva question you may be asked what is periodontium what are the four tissues in the periodontium so you have to remember two hard tissues that is cementum and bone and two soft tissues that is gingiva and periodontal ligament these all four together are known as periodontium so we'll discuss more about periodontium when we'll discuss periodontal ligament but today we are going to know more about the physical and chemical properties of this tissue cementum that forms the out the most layer of the root of the tooth and provides attachment to the tooth then let's start before starting quickly subscribe to dentist and abhi tak nahi kiya to jaldi se kar do aur is video ko ek like bhi de do introduction of cementum what is cementum it is a mineralized dental tissue mineral se bana hua hai kahan pe present hai it covers the roots of the teeth where it is starts from the cervical region वेयर इन द सर्वाइकल रीजन एट द जंक्शन बिटवीन द इनामल एंड सीमेंटम दैट इज नोन एज सीमेंटो इनामल जंक्शन एंड इट कॉन्टीन्यूज टू द एपेक्स ऑफ द रूट ऑफ द टूथ सो इट ग्रोज फ्रॉम सीमेंटो इनामल जंक्शन टू एपेक्स Now, who discovered the cementum? Cementum was first demonstrated by two pupils of Purkinje Jay microscopically in the year 1835. Now, if I ask you, what are the important roles of cementum? One role you already know that it provides medium for the attachment of the fibers through which it, the tooth is attached to the bone. Now, second function, second important function of cementum is it helps in the repair. Yes, it has adaptive and reparative function. That is, if it is damaged, it can repair itself. It can form again. so those two are the important functions of cementum attachment and reparative function now these properties of the cementum are very much similar to the bone so it is physically chemically and structurally similar to bone but it is also different from the bone how it is different from the bone it is avascular that is no blood vessels are there and no nerves are there non innervated that can be your important entrance question and viva question whether cementum has vessels and cementum has nerves no vessels no nerves and it keeps forming throughout life like dentin dentin ki tarah ye throughout life banta rehta hai now let's talk about the physical properties of cementum first its hardness it is a hard tissue but its hardness is less than all other mineralized tissue in enamel dentin bone sabse kam hai if we talk about its color it is light yellow in color as we can see here and it is lighter than dentin but clinically we cannot differentiate cementum from the dentin because the difference in the color is very less bahut kam difference hota hai so we cannot differentiate then it lacks luster that means it is not shiny it is dull because of which we can distinguish it from enamel enamel se isko isliye distinguish kar sakte hai because ye shiny nahi hai then it's permeable it allows the minerals and ions to pass through it but permeability decreases with age now we talk about the thickness of cementum it is variable it is different for different teeth even in the same tooth it is different in the different regions now if you look at this diagram where do you think cementum is thinnest in the cervical or in the apical region yes it is thinnest in the cervical region which is about 20 to 50 micrometer and it is thickest in the apical region about 150 to 200 micrometers now that can be your important entrance and viva questions where it is thinnest where it is thickest and how much is the thickness now it, this cementum is surrounding the apical foramen apical apex pe jo foramen hai opening hai so it is the opening at the apex through which the vessels and nerves enter the pulp of the tooth so it the cementum surrounds this opening now if we talk about the growth of cementum it grows by apposition it grows in layers and it is very much similar to bone similar to bone it shows remodeling that means it keeps forming it keeps resolving resolving banta rehta hai tootta rehta hai banta rehta hai tootta rehta hai but that rate is slower than bone 
बोन से स्लो है स्लोली रिजॉर्व होता है इतनी जल्दी नहीं होता है सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज इट कैन रिजिस्ट रिजॉर्बशन बेटर देन बोन इट परमिट्स इट इनेबल्स द ऑर्थोडोंटिक टूथ मूवमेंट हाउ वैन वी अप्लाई फोर्सेज वैन वी अप्लाई ऑर्थोडोंटिक मूवमेंट फोर्सेज सो दैट वी कैन मूव द टूथ अंडर दिस फोर्सेज द सीमेंटम विल नॉट रिजॉर्व इजिली इतनी जल्दी से टूटेगा नहीं एंड इट विल देन परमिट द मूवमेंट ऑफ द टूथ दस द टीथ विल मूव एंड दैट इज हाउ इट परमिट्स द टूथ मूवमेंट so that can be your entrance question whether its resorption is less than bone or it is more than bone so it is less than bone because of which we can help it helps in the orthodontic tooth movement now we talk about the chemical properties inorganic component is 45 to 50% and organic plus water is 50 to 55% by weight so its inorganic component is less than all the other hard tissues enamel dentin bone that can be your entrance question whether its inorganic component is less than bone or more than bone so it is less than bone now let's see what are the inorganic components it's mainly calcium and phosphorus as hydroxy apatites but traces of other elements like copper iron magnesium sodium zinc silica potassium fluoride can be seen fluoride in cementum is highest very very important entrance and viva question so amongst all the mineralized tissue highest fluoride content is seen in cementum so it is highest in the cementum now let's talk about the organic component it is mainly collagen type 1 that makes 90% of the organic matrix and the role of this type 1 collagen is it accommodates minerals मिनरल डेपोजिशन में हेल्प करता है नाउ अदर लेसर कोलाजन टाइप्स लाइक टाइप थ्री फाइव सिक्स ट्वेल्व एंड फोर्टीन आर ऑल्सो सीन टाइप थ्री इज मेनली सीन ड्यूरिंग डेवलपमेंट रिपेयर एंड रीजनरेशन एंड लेस इन द मच्योर सीमेंटम सो ड्यूरिंग दीज प्रोसेस टाइप थ्री इज सीन नाउ दो अदर प्रोटीन्स विच आर नॉन कोलाजनस जो कोलाजन से नहीं बने हुए दो नॉन कोलाजनस प्रोटीन्स आर क्वाइट सिमिलर टू दैट ऑफ बोन लाइक बोन साइलो प्रोटीन एंड ऑस्टोपॉन्टीन दीज टू आर द मेजर वन बट अदर प्रोटीन सिमिलर टू बोन लाइक एल्कलाइन फॉस्फेटेज ऑस्ट्यो कैल्सिन ऑस्ट्योनेक्टिन ऑस्ट्योपॉन्टिन डेंटिन मेट्रिक्स प्रोटीन वन फाइब्रोनेक्टिन एंड प्रोटियोग्लाइकन फॉस्पोलिपिस्टिनासिन एंड सेवरल ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स आर ऑल्सो सीन इन सीमेंटम नाउ वट इज द रोल ऑफ दीज नॉन कोलाजनस प्रोटीन्स दे ऑल्सो हैव इंपॉर्टेंट रोल हाउ दे हेल्प इन द ऑर्गेनिक मेट्रिक्स डेपोजिशन ऑर्गेनिक मेट्रिक्स बनाते हैं ऑल्सो दे स्टार्ट एंड कंट्रोल मिनरलाइजेशन दे विल कंट्रोल वेयर द मिनरल विल कम वेयर इट विल नॉट कम ऑल्सो है दे हेल्प इन मेट्रिक्स री मॉडलिंग मेट्रिक्स बनाने में और मेट्रिक्स तोड़ने में फॉर्मेशन एंड रिजॉर्प्शन ऑफ मेट्रिक्स में हेल्प करते हैं नाउ द प्रोटियोग्लाइकन विच आर seen in cementum which are also seen in bone are chondroitin sulfates heparin sulfates hyaluronates keratin sulfates like fibromodulin lumicin versicin biglycan and osteoderin and several growth factors like transforming growth factor beta bone morphogenic proteins fibroblast insulin and endothelial derived growth factor platelet derived growth factor so all these growth factors are also seen in cementum but two important proteins which are unique to cementum are सीमेंटम अटैचमेंट प्रोटीन एंड सीमेंटम डिराइव ग्रोथ फैक्टर दीज टू आर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड सीन इन सीमेंटम वट इज देयर रोल देयर रोल इज इन द सीमेंटम फॉर्मेशन दे हेल्प इन द सीमेंटो ब्लास्ट एडिशन सीमेंटो ब्लास्ट सेल्स जो सीमेंटम बनाते हैं उनको वहाँ पर रखते हैं एंड सीमेंटम अटैचमेंट प्रोटीन बिकॉज इट इज सीन ओनली इन सीमेंटम एंड नॉट इन बोन सो दिस एक्ट एज अ मार्कर टू डिफ्रेंशिएट सीमेंटम फ्रॉम बोन सो दैट इज फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज लेट्स have a summary so physical properties hardness it is less than in amel dentin bone color is light yellow permeable thickness is thinnest at cervical and thickest at the apical region it keeps forming throughout life now talking about the chemical properties inorganic component 45 to 50% mainly hydroxy apatite and other trace elements and it has the highest fluoride content and talking about the organic and water they make 50 to 55% main organic component is collagen mainly type 1 lesser amounts of other collagens are there then non collagenous proteins are quite similar to bone bone silo protein and other proteins then growth factors proteoglycans and two important and proteins that is cementum attachment protein and cementum derived growth factor are seen only in the cementum so let's check what have you learned cementum is avascular or vascular in organic content of cementum is less than bone or more than bone highest fluoride is seen in which mineralized tissue in amel dentin bone or cementum so that is all for this video if you really enjoyed the video do tap on the like button and share this video with your friends keep watching keep learning and keep smiling good luck for your exam see you in the next video soon till then take care bye bye